Hello there, welcome to Just Draft Studio. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you on, on how you can make a Vexel art portrait in Photoshop. By the way, I'm going to link these images in the description so you can practice along with the tutorial. Without further ado, let's get started. Once your Photoshop is open, drag the image in your workspace and drop it there and press Ctrl-0 to fit on screen. Now we are going to select this man, but in order to select it, uh, set, click on the, this tool and make right click on it and make sure you select the quick selection tool. It's either you can manually select the man or press Ctrl-D to deselect it and press on this select subject then click it and it will automatically select the subject but there's some ob subject there that i don't want to be included so press con press alt to zoom and scroll up now i'm going to reduce this by pressing alt and selecting on it as you can see there's some part here that i want to add also release the alt and it will ch change the cursor into plus and I can add a selection just like that also some here now we select the man next we are going to do is is pressing the select and mask in in other version of Photoshop the older version you can find you cannot find this option but for the other older version you can go to select and under select there's some option here called refine edge and you can use that for the older version for for the new version photoshop cc you can use select and mask and also have option here select and mask click on it and once it's clicked it will pop up a new dialog box now we are going to change this and make sure you select on black then select on the smart radius and now you can brush on the on the on the edge of the face of the man of the subject you can make the brush bigger by pressing the cross by pressing the the closing bracket and brush on it now i'm going to press R to deselect some selection here can zoom by pressing alt and zoom alt and scroll up reduce the size and press alt now we are going to go farther Now it's okay. After that, go down and make sure you check on the de decontaminate colors and choose on the new layer, new layer with layer mask. So it will create a new layer of the selected object and press OK. So as you can see, there's a new layer there. Now we are going to change it, change the name, double click on this and rename it man now we are going to make a background layer click on this area this uh, to create a new layer once it's clicked there's a new layer uh, transparent layer there but we are going to add a color so in add to in order to add a color you can go to the color picker here then take take a color of somehow gray say this one and press ok select this color around of uh, brightness of 36 and press ok in order to apply the color on the background layer you can select the bucket tool here you can right click so to find a bucket tool 
and you can select the bucket to paint bucket to and drop a color there as you can see it drops a color as you can see we have some we need to remove this so click on this uh, layer mask and press con press B to select the brush and brush on it okay once it's done like that now we are going to convert this into layer mask select this first and unlock it press ok I'm just double clicking on it to unlock it now select this make sure you turn off select this and hold shift to select the other one the other two and go to this area and choose the convert to smart object to convert it to smart object now once it's done like that press ctrl 0 to fit on screen now we are going to make the effect of shadows and highlights by going to the image under image adjustment shadows and highlights now we are going to adjust the settings make sure you put this 50 and the amount of shadow 50 also in the tone leave 30 for the radius highlights amount put it add 20 and tone leave it 50 radius 30 and make sure the color of the adjustment is negative 100 and the mid tone is positive 100 leave the black and white clip 0 0.01 and press ok as you can see it changed the image let me zoom the image by pressing ctrl plus now we are going to sharpen this image by going to filter sharpen under sharpen and sharp mask to adjust the sharpness of the image and make sure you put 500 here and radius of 5.0 and click ok as you can see the effect that we added are going here now we are going to add uh, go back to go to filter under filter stylize and choose the diffuse under diffuse you should select this and press press ok we are going to repeat that twice once i mean once again so in order to repeat that you can go back there by stylize diffuse and press ok or you can you can use the shortcut alt ctrl f and it will pop up that uh, dialog box again as you can see it's still rendering the image and press ok now change this color picker into black by clicking on this icon and it will change to the default black and white make sure you choose that black so go to filter under filter stylize and select oil paint under oil paint we are going to change the the settings to make it smoother so leave it this to 10.0 10 10 also and leave it to 0.8 this one also this 10 and press ok and it will render the image see as you can see it smoothen the image now next we are going to add a filter of blur so go to filter then click blur under blur make uh, select the surface surface blur then change the settings into this radius into 20 uh, leave it leave it 20 then click ok now go to filter under filter filter gallery and make sure you select on cut out and under cut out add the settings of 8 5 and 3 and press ok so it changed somehow parts of the image now go back to image under image adjustment and select on the brightness and contrast brightness contrast to add uh, brightness and contrast here and make sure you change the contrast into 100 press ok 
go to filter click sharpen under sharpen then unsharp mask then we are going to change the amount before we add a 500 now we are going to add a, another unsharp mask of 100 value amount let's leave the radius into 5 and 0 for the threshold and press ok as you can see the image looks better now now we are going to highlight the image by adding by adding levels so click on this area to add, to add an adjustment layer click on this adjustment layer then select the levels and make sure you add in the mid 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 area here 0.9 and uh, this one add 240 now we are going to add an adjustment layer of gradient map under gradient map click this and choose a color of uh, choose color of orange around orange like this and select on this click on this then press ok and click this again you can double click on it to, to select a color or you can click on this and change the color into lightest yellow here and select this press ok and then click ok and move it there make sure you select this uh, gradient map and change this option from normal into into color as you can see it changed the image let me zoom out you can change the color if you want say you want to pick a different color press ok but for this i'm happy with the result let's change this to somehow double click okay. press ok let's save the image by pressing ctrl shift s and jpeg i'm going to rename it make sure you select maximum okay now we are going to see the difference this was the edited this was the before and the edited now in order for you to add a new image with the same effect make sure you click on this man double click and you can change the image here say i'm going to replace it go to file under file place and embed or you can open an image but for this i'm going to use the place and emb place embed click on it and i'm going to select this image press up and click place and let's zoom the image by clicking on this and dragging or resizing the image and press check and close this by press uh, clicking on the x and and it will going to change the image from that man into this image and press yes or click yes now it will apply the effects to this image you can add more image if how many image you want to be edited at the same effect as you can see it changed the image you can turn off the gradient if you want to see the color of the face of the girl and also the surface blur so it will give the sharp and uh, sharpness of image still rendering let's save the image control shift s select jpeg and sample image 2 click save okay now we are going to see the difference this was the diff the before and 
this is the after. So, I hope this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you gone through the tutorial and you find difficulties, don't forget to comment below so, can, so I can assist you. And thank you for watching.